buried my husband. My husband from my Chandler family. They are buried my husband. They are buried because of property. Because they want to collect this property from us. That was that's the reason why they buried him in an undisclosed, undisclosed land. A man that he spent 24 years in Europe. A man that spent 24 years in Europe. We are legally married. We did a church. The governor of Fedo State, Governor Obaseki, you people should come to my rescue. I'm a widow with four children. Oba Binio, everybody, Edo State, Nigeria, everybody, come to my rescue. Uh, my heart is heavy. My heart is heavy. I'm a widow with four children. My husband, my husband just, my husband died in. My husband was sick in Europe. They diagnosed him of uh, cancer, and he was brought to Nigeria to find other means of treating him. They brought him to Nigeria. When they came to Nigeria, when we, we, they brought him to Nigeria, his family, I never knew they had, they had some conspiracy. I never knew they had other uh, uh, plans of killing him. So when they brought him to Nigeria, me and the auntie and the, some of the relatives, we went to the airport to receive him. We took him to, the, to, uh, to, to Lutz, Lagos University Teaching Hospital. There in Lutz, we spent about five days there. Because the auntie saw the auntie and the mom and the relative, they saw their evil uh, 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 conspiracy. They could not uh, achieve it there. They now uh, discharged him from loot. They took took him to Bagada General Hospital because of the auntie's connection there. Because the auntie have a little connection in Bagada, Bagada General Hospital. So in Bagada General Hospital, that we took, we took a private ward where the family was coming to. Different kind of manipulation. The, the mother will come with different kind of mercy, water, spiritual mercy, and be poor putting on his body in the hospital. There are other clips I can even show to back up these clips that will back up this uh, the nonsense, the, the manipulation in the hospital. In the hospital, then I was not begging them that please, this woman they brought him from the, one of the best hospitals in Europe. That they ask him, they discharge him that they we should go take him to Nigeria to spend the remaining days with his family. That they should please release him, discharge him, let, him, let us take him to Benito, look, look for other means of treating him. The family were like, they were not fighting me, they were, in fact, every day in the hospital, it was fight here and there, every day in the hospital. From there, they not connived, they drove me out of the hospital. Even the passport, the my husband's document, all the things he belongs, the things he brought from Europe, his, uh, his document, his um, international passport, they forcefully collected all those things. My husband gave it to me, immediately he came out from the airport. It, 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 it gave those things to me. When that day they were driving me from the hospital, they forcefully collected those things from my hand. And they drove me out of the hospital. I left to my sister's place in Lagos, in, in, inside Lagos. It was during the, that period of a, a cash scarcity, that uh, during election period. So, I, even before I left, I told my husband that I should not worry, that I'm going to pray for him, that I'm not living, I'm not even living, the, living Lagos, that I'm still in Lagos, that I will come back and see him. So I now left for my sister's place. Coming back after uh, the election, after the election, and I came back. When I came back, I met a different person. My husband was like, in fact, he, he was like a living, he was, he was already dead. He was just struggling with life. And then when I even came, I met, I met uh, life support inside the room. My husband was, he was, he was struggling with this thing. I even met him, he was even telling his, he was not aggressive. My husband is a very quiet and calm person. He was aggressive. I was not asking the sister, I asked the sister, sister, what happened? Why is it why why did his condition deteriorate like this? What happened to him? I said, why isn't he aggressive? He said he started, she started that the whole thing started started yesterday. The, my husband, I met my husband, he was he was screaming, he was asking. The only thing he was even saying was saying, hey, 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 okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That was what was my husband was that was what my husband was saying as he was saying in, saying it to the mother even when they dropped me out of the hospital the mother the mother that was pretending that she was sick the mother came came to the hospital to say have you ever have you seen where a sick person will come to the hospital to be nursing a sick person taking care of a sick person when they dropped me out of the hospital because i was since my presence there they could not achieve what they wanted to do that was why with the help of the auntie and the auntie's husband one mr chima chima the auntie's husband, one Mr. Chima Wongogo, was the one that even stood his ground that I must leave the hospital. So, God, I'm tired. So when they drove me out of the hospital, when I now came back, as I asked my husband, I, I now asked my, the, the sister, I said, 
Why is the condition? Why what happened? Why is this condition deteriorated to this extent? She now says she's tired, but she don't know what happened though. That since yesterday the condition just the study was not aggressive, it was just picking on anybody. Anybody that talked to him was not picking on anybody, it was grooming in pain and everything. So the mother, it was when I came that I even learned that the mother was not staying. Immediately I left the hospital, the mother came to be staying with them inside the hospital so that she can be able to carry out her evil manipulation. The evil things that they were doing that they could not do when I was there, they started doing it. So that day as I was there, my husband was still grooming in pain. I was not helping. I tried to carry him up. The, the, the auntie now said, I should leave you. I should not. I said, how dare you tell me? My husband is grooming in pain. You are telling him he should, he should, I should not touch him. He said, there, the mother started shouting, that I've come again, no, that I've come again, no, that the, the, the auntie now went outside to call the, the securities and the nurses, that they should come, no, that there is a mad person here. So when they came, the mother fought me, tore my clothes, pinched my neck. They now drove me out of the hospital. That same day again that I came back to come and stay with my husband in the hospital. They drove me out of the hospital and, uh, and I left. So when I left, because when I was even coming to Lagos to receive him, I came with my children. For like more than one month before that time, my children were not, they were out of school. So when I just saw that I have lost it, I cannot fight the battle alone again. Even my relatives in the back home, they were even telling me that I should, they want to come to Lagos to come and back me up because I was telling everybody what I was going through. They said, even they said they want to go to the palace to, 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 to inform the palace so that the palace will, to be, should be aware of what is going on. So when I when they drove, finally drove me out that same day, I left. When I got to my sister's place, I told my sister that in fact, in fact, I've, I can I cannot fight this fight again. Let me just leave my husband with these family people and go and take care of my children. So the following early morning, I left Lagos for Benin. I was on my way to Benin. To Benin. On my way to Benin. Okay, my husband's uh, 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 um, what they call is uh, old student, old students in this uh, uh, old students. Uh, this thing, they came together. They said they want to send some uh, delegates to come and see him because they, the the old student they, they came they, at the time they not said they want to come into it so that they can take him from that because the hospital they later take, they took him to his uh, a general hospital. Even in the hospital, the the, 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 the team of doctors comes sev several times to tell us that. We should discharge this man from this place. That what they are giving to him here is palliative. That this is not a cancer a center. That we should discharge him to a cancer center, or we should look for other means of treating him. That so anytime they come like that, not knowing because anytime the doctors they come, the auntie will drive me and the sister that is there. We should leave. So all this why the doctors were coming. That was what the doctor was telling her, but we didn't know because they, she's always driving us out of the room. But that, there was a particular day the nurses came, the doctors they came. She was not around. So the doctor did not told her that why is this man still in this hospital? We've told this woman, these people several times to discharge this man from this place. Why are you people still keeping this man here? So when she came, we passed the message, she was not angry. That why would a doctor come and uh, 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 pass us message to, to, to patients and the relatives? So another time again, the, the team of doctors that came again, this time they met her, met all of us inside the room. As they wanted to talk, the auntie now told the doctor, the doctor that the doctor should wait, that she, they should excuse we should excuse them before they start talking. The, not, the doctor now said, we cannot, because we came before and we met this, this lady, and I believe this one is the wife, because they introduced themselves, that so do, there's no need of us um, excusing anybody. So the doctors did not said everything they need to say, say that this man is not supposed to be here. What the, the auntie was not telling him, the auntie said, uh, we know all hope for medicals are failed, but we are just back, banking on God for miracles. Then one of the doctors said, if you are believing God for miracles, you are not supposed to be keeping this man here. You are supposed to take him to a church or somewhere else where you can get access to pastors and the rest of us. The, the auntie now said, they should not worry that a, a, a distance is not a barrier for, for healing. So when the doctors, they finally left, that after talking to us, when they left, I met that I was not begging this auntie. I said, please auntie, please don't let this man die. Please, because of my children, please allow this man out. Let's discharge this man, take this man back to me so that we can go and look for that means of treating me. That day again, we fought. That was the day. They fought me again. That was the day the auntie's husband that came, Mr. Chimon, Mr. Chima. She not came. The man that came that I must leave the hospital, that I am a, a negative energy. That was, that, was, that was how they drove me out of the hospital. I left. Before I not came, the day I said I came, I met him in that bad condition. They fought me again that day I left. Before I not came, I was on my way from Lagos to Bini. When one of the students, because I was supposed to bring the student to the hospital to come and see him, but because of the because they cannot gather that 
because of one thing or the other. When I left, I was on my way when the students now come in at the, at the gate of the hospital. That how can they reach me? And I told them I'm not in the hospital. But I directed them on how to get to the ward where my husband is. That was how they left. I was inside the bus going. I was inside the bus going to Benin. So all the way, the friend where they were coming, another of the friend again, one uh, Mr. Bright, Jado, my husband, very good friend, called me again and told me he was at the gate again that. I had not told him, I saw some of the students, they have gone to see him. I had not directed him to, not to, to reach my husband. It was this, my husband's uh, uh, friend that got to the hospital. That now called me later again, that said there is a bad situation. That he came and he met a bad situation. That my, when he came, my husband has already passed on. Now my husband has already passed on. This is a man that, <laughs> oh God, that my husband has passed on. I was on my way from Lagos. In fact, Nigeria, good people of Benin, the palace of you people should come to my head, come and fight this fight for me. Because as I'm thinking now, after two weeks of my husband passing, nobody communicated to me, nobody spoke to me, no member of the family spoke to me, neither did they speak to my children to tell us my husband has passed on. It was my husband's friend that told me that day that my husband has passed on. Nobody talked to me. After two weeks, so they, they printed a poster that they want to do my husband's but my husband, this is my husband maternal family that are doing this rubbish now. They printed my husband's pa a, a, a poster planning to do my husband's burial. On oh, don't tell me they've never passed the message that my husband has passed on. They printed the poster that they want to go and uh, and uh, 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 bury my husband. It was the message that uh, uh, information I got that made me my family to take a petition to zone five. My family, my my father with the help of the uncle, would wrote a petition to zone five to uh, 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 to anti vice in uh, zone five. So we are uh, two weeks after the passing of my husband. My husband passed on on the 28th of February. So after this, we are at Zone 5 since the uh, anti vice uh, or guard there, he, 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 he spoke to us and told us that since his family matter, we should go home and uh, resolve this issue. That was how we came home because we, and, and we talked. The, fam the paternal family, they said my husband, before this time, his late, his father, his late father, they've not buried him, that we must go and bury the late father before we will talk about his burial. That was how me and my children, me personally did the burial of, me and my children and the, my husband's uh, half brother, we went to Owen, uh, Owen West, because my husband is from Owen West, from uh, Abiyosi. That was how we went to Abiyosi to do my husband's burial on the, what, 17th of, or 17th, I mean, 17th of, we went for, uh, for the, uh, burial, the final burial of my husband's, uh, uh, my late husband's father. So after the burial, in the burial the, the mother came, the mother, they invited the mother. They asked us about his achievement because they don't know much about my husband because my husband's mother took him away from the paternal family. He's not, he does not know, he took him away from the paternal family. So, so when we went the, for the burial, the paternal family, they don't know much about him. So they asked me and the mother in the meeting that we should tell, tell them about the my husband's achievement. That was how we told them everything. We told them everything. The mother was lying. In fact, the whole family now saw it that the woman killed the son because of his properties. Because she was just lying and saying, uh, saying rubbish. So the, the things, the papers in our custody, they asked us to bring it before the burial. The ones in my custody, I submitted it, I took it to, to the family. The ones they asked the mother to bring, the mother refused to bring it. So they now fixed a date. They said we should come back for... That they, they said we should fix a date and invite them so that they'll come and uh, they carry out the burial. We came back, the brother, the half brother fixed a date and informed the maternal family. The maternal family said, because the paternal family, they said the ass, this is the ass he built. This is the ass he built. They said this is the, this is, this is the only uh, ass he has completed. This is where he's going to be buried. The mother now flew up. He said that they will, he said over a dead body with their Allah. They, we, 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 we she allow my husband to be buried in the ass because she is living in the ass. For that reason, my husband saying beneath tradition they don't bury somebody's his own ass he built with his money. The mother said he, he will not be buried in the house. So that was how it was not talking about tradition. That was how we went to the upper palace. We went to upper palace so that the chiefs there they can tell us on how to go. Whether in, in, in beneath tradition, whether if somebody built a house and the person puts his mother in the house, if the person passed on, if the person cannot be buried in the house. That was how we went to the palace. We went to the palace. They serve her paper. She didn't come. She 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 refused to come. When the day of the the the, the sitting, they now called they call, they now called the chiefs. They now called her. 
when they called her, she said she ran to the princess of uh, the uh, monarch. She uh, she ran to, to the princess that she was not finished. She went to lie on, lie to the princess. I don't know what she went to tell the princess. So the princess stood by her. That was the reason why she did not come and answer the summer in the, in Oba Palace. So after then again, we went to Zone Five to tell the the officer that went us that told us to go and to go and uh, resolve the issue. So we went back to him. The officer was standing there surprised. He said, so we have not buried this man all this while. He now said, okay, how, what happened? We now told the officer. He now asked us to invite the Patana family and the Matana family. Let him hear from them. So that, uh -huh. so we invited them. They came, they spoke. The mother, the mother was still standing at ground. The officer told, her, told the mother that it's, it's a taboo in Pini, that in, in, in Pini tradition, that a mother is not supposed to be talking Talking about his uh, where they will bury his son. So as far as the Matana, the Patana family, they've spoken. Anything you people will say, even though you take the matter to the palace or to the court, they are they, they are where stand because they have the they are the one that is going to carry out the burial. Say so the only thing we are going to do now is to plead on plead. He says so on behalf of the family, he want to plead. That since Mama is saying he want they want to see my husband's uh, grave outside. He want to plead to the family that they should bury him in one of our rooms so that Mama will not be seeing his grave outside. Mama still stood on it that over a dead body she will not allow my husband to be buried in the house. Why I came now to cry to the good people of Edo State and the good people of Nigeria that they should come and find this fight for a widow with four children. A widow with four children because I don't know after today now, as I'm talking to you right now, today being the, what is today's date? To today being 22, my husband. To 23 of uh, August, uh, 20, today being uh, 23 yeah. of uh, May, they just buried my husband. I don't know. They went to purchase a land. I don't know where at Utesi community where they went to bed. They took, in fact, the matter we went to, uh, we heard about the, 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 the barrier. So we went to uh, the same zone 5 to report it. They asked us to write a petition. We wrote a petition to zone 5 for them to give us officers to stop the barrier. I, we got to zone five today to pick up the, the petition. Petition that they already approved. The officer that went to collect the petition, he came and said the petition. They, they approved the petition. Later they 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 cancelled the petition. They said the mother came and and uh, and uh, and, uh, and uh, bribed them and bribed them. That is why they cancelled the petition. So they they could not give us officers to to go and stop the burial. So I'm talking to you now. They've laid my husband. They buried my husband in on the exclusive uh, 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 land. In at Utesi, they did, they buried him without the knowledge of me and my four kids. You push you come without my, the knowledge of my children. Good people of Edo State, Nigeria, Obaseki, Oba Bini. You people should come to my rescue. Look at my children. They have buried my husband. As I'm talking to you now, they just buried my husband. My husband, my maternal family. They have buried my husband. They have happened because of property, because they want to collect this property from us. That was that's the reason why they buried him in an undisclosed, undisclosed land. A man that he spent 24 years in Europe. A man that spent 24 years in Europe. We are legally married. We did a church marriage. We did a, a court marriage. We did traditional marriage. Just look at our picture, our wedding pictures. We did everything. Please, you should come outside and see the kind of this. The acres of land that this man owned, 100 by 130, there is no land. Please, my brother, come. Come and show these people. Go put this gate for me. You give me the key. This is my husband's company. Come and see the plot of land, my husband. They did not bury him here. Look at the compound. 100 by 130 acres of land. Come and see it. You people should come, come and see. Good people of Edo State, look at. Look at my husband's compound. Look at space everywhere. He hold this compound. He hold other property. This thing. Look at. The mother and the family, they went to bury him at Chelsea. I don't know where they acquired it. Look at the car. When he bought it, when he, 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 when he, after building this house, he asked the mother to pass me. The mother said if he does not give him mobility, he will not come. That was how the, my, my husband bought this car for the mom. This car. Since he bought the car for the mom, he has not come to Nigeria. After buying the car for the mother, he had a problem in Europe that held him in Europe for over five years. Coming to Nigeria and I came with sickness and they killed him in Lagos. Killing him in Lagos. Have you people seen where Matana family buries a man? They buried me with that, with fuck me. Um, legal man. Look at the last picture we took before he left Nigeria. Look at, look at it. 
the last picture we took together as a family before my husband left Nigeria for you for, for left Nigeria. Look at my last baby. It was seven months when my husband left. Come and see the child now. This child is going to six years now. The, the child is six years now. This child does not know the father. Nigeria, I just said, I just said. Oh, God, look at this. The, this the, the, the baby. Look at the baby now. The baby is a big boy now. The boy does. He has not seen the daddy.